The terms garment washing and garment finishing are often used interchangeably. More correctly though, garment washing refers to wet finishing techniques, while garment finishing includes both wet and dry finishing techniques. In denim wet finishing, the same machine is sometimes used for more than one process. For example, a garment washing machine can be used for desizing, dyeing, enzyme treatments, stone washing, softener application, ozone treatment, and resin application, among other uses. In this segment, we'll discuss the following machines. Rotary drum machines, belly washers, extractors, dryers, and garment handling machines. First, rotary drum machines. Rotary drum machines are versatile and accommodate a wide range of fabric types and chemical processes, so they're often used for a variety of wet processes. Most rotary machines are side-loading. They're similar to front-loading home washing machines in that they consist of an outer closed cylinder and an inner perforated drum or basket that rotates within the outer cylinder. An access door is located on the side of the outer cylinder. The key advantage to side-loading rotary drum machines is that they require relatively little water to operate. Garments are loaded into the rotary machine through the outer access door. The door is closed and the external cylinder is then filled to between one quarter and one third of its volume with water or a processing bath. As the interior drum rotates, the garments become saturated with the bath. Typically, after the drum rotates in one direction for a specified number of cycles, the direction reverses. This prevents the garments from being tumbled into a dense mass and keeps the bath circulating evenly throughout the contents of the machine. Side-loading rotary machines typically have one of three common types of drums, or pockets. An open pocket, a Y pocket, or a lobed pocket. Each pocket has its advantages depending on the type of garment being processed. While open pockets are most often featured on belly washers, they are also used in some side-loading machines. The open pocket design maximizes tumbling and facilitates greater abrasion. Y pockets keep garments from tumbling freely, which make them the best choice for items that need minimum agitation and abrasion. Finally, lobed pockets lift the garments, allowing increased tumbling with controlled abrasion. Rotary drum machines have several advantages over other types of machines. For one, they have microprocessors and computers that allow more precise, sophisticated process control that saves time and materials. Another benefit is their add tanks, which can be programmed to add chemicals or dye stuffs automatically, without operator intervention. Finally, rotary drum machines remove water or bath solution from garments by centrifugal extraction. This reduces both the amount of chemicals or dye stuffs needed for processing and the volume of water needed for rinsing. Garments dry faster and with less energy use. An older variation on the rotary machine is the front-loading machine or belly washer. These machines have multiple baskets inside the outer cylinder. As with side-loading machines, belly washers have an access door in the outer cylinder. But the access door is located in the perimeter rather than the side of the cylinder, making it more difficult to reach the inner drum or basket. Because of this restriction, belly washers aren't as common as they once were. But many finishing plants still use them for such processes as desizing and stone washing. This is because they're simple, inexpensive, and easy to use. And large. Some belly washers can hold up to 800 pounds of garments. The disadvantages of these machines, though, are that they require manual operation and high liquor ratios and lack a high-speed extractor. Liquor ratio is the weight of the water and other chemistries in the bath compared to the weight of the garments. Next, let's take a quick look at how denim garments are wet processed through rotary washing machines. Before wet processing can begin, denim garments must first be organized into processing lots. For example, one lot may consist of garments that have come directly from cut and sew. Another lot may have already received some type of preparatory process, such as sanding or potassium permanganate treatment. Yet another might require additional processing following the wet process. We'll take a closer look at processing combinations in the wet and dry finishing segments of this CD. Processing lots are brought to the washer on a pallet, in a truck, 
or preloaded into a delivery system, such as a sling. The individual processing load is determined by the liquor ratio of the particular process to be run. The number of garments in a load can be determined either by weight or by a set count. Here, denim jeans are being loaded into a rotary drum machine from a sling. A forklift raises the sling up and over the open door of the washer. The operator pulls a drawstring and the jeans drop from the sling into the machine. Notice that the washer has been tilted back for easier loading. Modern rotary machines are able to tilt backward for loading and forward for unloading, making both processes less complicated. While belly washers aren't able to tilt back for loading, the angle of the door opening makes them fairly easy to load. Typically, items can be loaded by hand or, in some cases, by using a sling. For unloading, the machine baskets are lifted up and forward. Since belly washers don't have high-speed extractors, the saturated contents are very heavy, often making unloading a strenuous job.